guys, it's going down this weekend at UFC 293 with Adesanya stepping up to defend his title against Sean Strickland. And my partners at DraftKings are offering an incredible deal for all new customers who sign up using the promo code SUNNEN. New customers, you can bet $5 on any of this weekend's fights and you're going to receive $200 in bonus bets instantly. You can even use your bonus bets on DraftKings same fight parlays for a shot at an even bigger payout. Combine multiple bets together from the same fight, including number of rounds and method of victory. Remember, DraftKings is the only place where you can bet same fight parlays. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still join in all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy. So click on the link below. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use the promo code SUDDEN and get in on all the fun. Don't tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart. I just don't think he'd understand. Remember that song? This was huge. That's, it's very hard to have a number one hit. Like a lot of times you will tease a guy that was a one hit wonder. It's very hard to have a number one hit, but then have that number one hit transcend generations. So I mean, this song goes back so far. I think it was very late eighties, but it was possibly very early nineties. I remember where I was. I remember I was at Wood Middle School fifth through eighth grade, so I'm somewhere right in that base. This was so big. This was so huge, but it still is. If you go line dance and you go to any country bar, they will play that song at some point every single night. Like, it worked. Okay. I bring that to you because Billy Ray Cyrus is what I would consider famous. I mean, he's, there's a level of fame there, and he's kept on going. He had a huge hit, uh, that Cowboy song a couple weeks ago, but then his Turns out that he's, he's not a bad coach. He's not a bad mentor. Brought uh, Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus is Billy Ray's daughter. Brought her through. Got her to a level of fame. But it turns out there's another Cyrus kid. And his name is Trace. It could be Tracy. I think it's Trace. And Trace took to social media yesterday. And he left the following post. I genuinely feel bad for any girl I've been with that has to live the rest of their life with the regret of losing me. There's girls I've dated even over a decade ago, and they're still trying to get another chance with me. Some of them are now in relationships and have settled for what they could find even though it was less desirable, but they took what they could get. No girl that lost me. No girl that lost me has had their life improve by me no longer being a part of it. <laughs> I mean, so that has to be a joke, right? I and mean, that has to be a joke. If I would have had that, I would have put that out. Some point in my life. To get heat. Fully to get heat. To get negative heat back. That's what you call a troll. So, when my producer brought this to me, I said, he's joking, right? I mean, wh wh why, why are you showing me this? I had no idea this was going to be, hey, Todd, we're going to bring you. He said, no, he's, he's not joking. If you go back and some of the other stuff, it ties in. Real nicely. I said, what's this guy good at? I, I mean, not for nothing. Like, if you see yourself that way, you would have a level of confidence that came from something. Now, generally a person that does have a real success, a real something somewhere in life, would not talk that way about themselves, right? Because other people would be doing it. They would never have to do it. But, what's he good at? I was just wondering, is this guy famous? Like, there are certain qualities that do attract the opposite sex. Like, that's true. And this dude must have them. I didn't understand the point of the post, though. I didn't understand if it was like, here's a tribute to the ones I loved. Big, little, short, or tall. Wish I could have kept them all. Or if it was just a nice internal thought about himself because he doesn't really get into anybody 
And the slow times that he does touch on the past relationships, it was to shine up his own wheels. So he said, I just saw, but, if, but, okay. So what does he do? Very realistic question, right? What does he do? And it turned my, the answer I got back was that he was a backup vocalist somewhere. And that's a cool thing to do. Like, that that's a real skill. But I will tell you that that surprised me. Like, if his father, who was a star, if his sister, who was a star, if they wouldn't speak that way, if, if they wouldn't say that about themselves as the lead singer, I don't think Trace would think to say it about himself as a backup singer. No, that could be a big assumption by me, but it seems reasonable. So then ultimately we get a picture of Trace. And Trace is covered in tattoos. He, he is covered all the way up. He's got him on the neck and, and on the face. A pretty well-built guy. Rather handsome guy, in spite of the tattoos. I mean, I must, I must tell you. But Trace was 34 years old, and he was single. And so, so now you're starting to have, <laughs> you, you're starting to, you, you started with a narcissist, but when you have a narcissist that is out of touch with their own reality, that, that's where things start to become a little bit interesting. Like, let me, let me tell you. Start out with his words at the very beginning, okay? I genuinely feel bad for any girl that has to go the rest of their life with the regret of losing me. Now, there's some real heartbreakers out there. And that would be a true statement at a lot of times. Very true statement. Whether it's one guy that had multiple girls or just the average person, including yourself, that's got one and there's a memory somewhere and you try to repress it. Like, I mean, th there is very natural human thoughts here, but not from a 34-year-old single guy. That's where the narcissist has missed out. Like anybody that he dated before, but found somebody else and settled down. That means they got married. That means they formed a family. That's what it was settled. That's exactly what settled down means. So if at one time in your life, you wanted to settle down with this guy, but now all these years have gone forward, you've met somebody else. And you have a family. And the whole reason you settled down with this person is because that's what you wanted. You wanted the family. You wanted a stability. You wanted to start growing from that standpoint. If you then look at the person and they're 34 and they're still out there getting tattoos and posted on social media, all the things that they did at 24 that you thought were cool, you now don't want that person. That's the disconnect. It would be a very different thing had he settled down, had he had the white picket fence or whatever the dream is, had he become a responsible member of society that is now raising up kids with certain values, like he go, oh, uh, that's the one, that's, the, that's what I wanted. But that's not what happened. He, he didn't go get a girl and he didn't go get a family. He didn't settle down. He went and got tattoos and a Twitter handle. And I'm not looking to be a, an overly big jerk about this. It just caught me off guard. The old man never really did anything too weird. And he lived through a time where you would do things that are weird just for attention. Particularly if you hit one out of the park and you're a one-hit wonder. Like That would be a really difficult thing to do. Like any of us in life that have a level of success, we just think that's the new normal. So if you were a one-hit wonder from the 80s or 90s, it's one of those things, but Billy never got weird. Never. Raised up a daughter, got her into the business. She did a few things for attention. But this, this feels a little bit different. And does old Trace, as proud of him as self as he is, and the heartbreaker that he is, is he aware that if you are the same person now, he's 34 right now, if 10 years goes by, which is very quick, if he's 44 and he's still that same person, is he not aware how that's not 
the same level of coolness at 44 as it was at 34. And the 34 doing the same thing isn't as cool as it might have been at 24. And if you don't have a girl, it's hard to assume there's a whole bunch of girls that wish that they... All right, here's the deal. I don't know Trace. And I wouldn't want to work if it hurt his feelings. But he brought emotion into it to a number of other girls who he believes is living with regret. Now, if you got a dude in his 30s, single, tattoos head to toe, no J-O-B, and apparently he sings behind the famous people, who should tell us? Me or you?